that jump. That little swim bait caught me a lot of smallmouth. These are some of the smartest fish we've dealt with in a long time, or I have. Uh-oh, we got Corey's hooked up. You want to eat a trout for dinner? That's a pretty good size one right there. We're going to catch fish. We're gonna have to cancel. <laughs> My coffee cup fell off the boat and broke. I don't know what we're gonna do. How long have you had that coffee cup? What's years. that? What, 12 years I, you had that cup probably now? No, I bought it this year at a gas station because I lost my other one. <laughs> yeah. Make it more dramatic. No, it wasn't. No emotional attachment <laughs> at all. My organizational skills are quite uh, complex. I like to stack it really high, and then when I can't find it, I just buy more of it. <laughs> and it keeps going, and pretty soon it's gonna hit the ceiling, or else the shelves are gonna fall over. And uh, then we'll probably just move at that point. <laughs> Buy more, save more. Buy more, save more. See more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're finally on the road. We're hoping the suspension in the truck and boat trailer hold up. We got a lot of stuff packed in here. Gonna head to south, about three hours south to uh, go to try to catch some giant smallmouth. I think we'll probably catch at least one over seven, but I would like to catch some over eight because I've never caught an eight pound smallmouth. My biggest is uh, seven, five, seven. What's up guys, just got here to the cabin. Beautiful view of the lake here. Got settled in, gonna head out for a couple hours, just kind of explore the lake, check it out, because I've never been here before, and see what's going on. We only have an hour before the sunset. We got weather coming in, weather tomorrow, but what are you expecting for the overall for the week? You know, hopefully big smallmouth. That's okay. what we're after yeah. is big smallmouth. We're gonna catch fish. Yeah. But it's catching uh, seven, eight, maybe nine pounder, oh, wow. you know, giant smallmouth. Nice. That's the target, that's the goal. So you can see the lake's low, the water's dropping. Things are just evolving, and we have a lot of good weather for big fish, though, so hopefully it turns out well. Let's get after it, bud. All right, sounds good. It's a baby, little old baby. That's why we're missing them. Oh, come on. Ooh, what Take did you off. spit up? You know, it's always been thought of a chatterbait trailer, but uh, this is a 38 ounce dirty jig guppy head. Pretty good combination. You can see what they're eating. Here's the tail of one. That was probably an eight inch kokanee. A lot bigger bait than what I'm throwing, but it seems like most of the time, they small out there eating kokanee. They're eating these little ones. You see them spit up these little ones that are four inches long or so, about the size of my bait. That's a pretty good sized one right there, but uh, it wasn't a very big fish either. So we'll see. I want to get back out there before Corey catches one. I don't want him to catch more than me for sure. These fish are definitely a lot more curious than, uh, than they're like, huh? Uh-oh, we got Corey's hooked up. Uh, behind the boat. Behind the boat? You're oh, running the trolling motor in the front of the boat. Under the boat, whatever you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. The trolling motor's up here, uh, back here, behind the trolling motor. How big is it, Corey? I'm saying it is a four and a half. What? No. Yeah. I'm saying two. <laughs> two. She's shrinking a little bit. Hey, 
Freaking oh my hammered gosh. it though. That was this year's bass. <laughs> What's that? That was probably this year's fish. This year's fish. This is the new bait, right? What's this little? What do we got? Oh, that's a chatter spike. Oh, another, chatter spike. Oh, I like another this. chatter oh, it's bait. It's a bigger one though. It was made for a chatter bait trailer, but also it's looks really good for. Yeah, so it's four and a half inches, but it works really good it's as bitch. a uh, shaking bait. Yeah, yeah, you know. Very cool. Not a big one, but hey, I'll take it for my first fish of the trip. More importantly, one one tied up. Now that we're not keeping track, but we're tied up. Biter? He Biter. did. He's very small. Look how he, fat this one is. He followed for a while though, huh? Ugh. <laughs> the fish is so fat. He's not very long, but probably about a three pounder. Eating the razor shed. There he is. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, look at that jump. That one I had dropped on it, and Luke decided to go look for his own fish. So I had to look fish for him blind, but. Gee, they pull so hard. That guy's so tiny. He pulls so hard. <laughs> and he jumps. That's awesome. I know Luke says these aren't giants, but he's a little spoiled. We're from Central California. A two and a half, three pounder. It's a big one. Fat. <laughs> Fat little turtle. <laughs> he is just butterball. Oh my, he is, look at, you couldn't, you can't squeeze him. He's so full. Look at little dude, he choked that seven, seven, five inch spike? What's it, how big is this one? Uh, four and a half inch chatter spike. Chatter spike, four and a half inch, but he choked it. Well, we're calling it a night. Corey's got the GoPro bracket locked below the rub rail. We can't get the troll motor up right now, so we're gonna work on this, and we're gonna continue on tomorrow. We're not gonna end this one until we catch a big one. You know, we caught a few fish tonight, but for the standards of this place, not good. So we just re literally fished one point a little bit here before dark, and uh, we'll explore some more uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, we got a lot of weather coming. Uh, we might be shooting some stuff in a shop for a little while because it's a half inch of rain, 100% chance of rain tomorrow. So hopefully, in the morning, we get some of that stuff uh, taken care of and work on a little bit of equipment. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll be back after them and hopefully catching a seven or eight pounds of momo. What's up guys, official day one of the shoot. Had a dodge wait a little bit this morning. Wait on Luke up morning to get ready, but we're finally <laughs> out on the water. Uh, uh -huh. What's the plan, Luke? Well, it's 12, uh, 20 to one now, so we got a few hours to fish before dark. Nice. And uh, we've been waiting on Corey. He took okay, a shower, yeah. some naps, <laughs> rolled wow. around for a while, <clears throat> talked on the phone. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go out there and uh, hopefully catch a big one. You know, we haven't really fished much yet. We've been around this reservoir quite a bit, but I've uh, only fished it, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes last night. So uh, really see what things are about here. We're going to go run up the lake a little ways, use the active target a lot. That's For pretty sure. imperative what we're doing anymore. Love it or hate it. Forward imaging with smallmouth fishing this time of year is a must, it's a must have. I mean, yeah. you're just going to catch so many more fish. So we're going to go up there and spend some time, look around. We'll probably cover quite a bit of water here, run through some points, some transition areas, hopefully see some big marks out there. and. Maybe catch a, a big spoma. Let's get seven pounder. Seven pounder, all right, I'm on it. Nice. Little mini guy. <laughs> Off the top. Yeah, he was on the top. Action though, good action. Yeah, yeah. got one. Eating 
you good. Oh no. What happened? You said diarrhea all over my boat. <laughs> a little uh, three and a half inch Senate jerk shed. Chunky little fish, but he's making quite a little mess. Let him go. A little bait on top or? Oh no, there's a fish, like that one swimming at 60 right under the surface. I don't know what it is. Gonna be about two of us in a matter of seconds. They're not very big. There you go. My bait, oh I just bit it. Oh, I bit it again. Tiny one. Got him that time. It's a trout. Trout? Oh, it gets me a trout. I see another one behind me. You wanna eat a trout for dinner? Sure, if you guys want. We don't have much food. Chunky little dude. We went back to the three and a half inch scented jerk shed, little quarter ounce guppy head. Seemed to be getting some more bites, you know. It's, we kind of thought maybe the three eighths was better with the razor shed, and it seems like going to this, we're getting more bites. We're still not catching the size we're looking for, we're getting some bites. Uh -oh. What happened, bud? Tricked him. Some out there that I'm like, geez, they have to be like six, seven pounders, but we get so few of them to bite. Come on, fish. Use my other hand. Look how fat that one is. Whoa. <laughs> I like that fish more now. It's amazing how built they are. God bless, Little dude. Little protein nuggets of coconut. How that little dude weighs? Look I don't know. Him. I mean, it's probably close to four pounds, and he's what? 17 inches long, <laughs> that 16? That's how fat his tail is. Yeah. Oh my then God. When they get in the winter, they'll get a hump on their head that's just pretty impressive. <laughs> you fat little turd. Yeah, Let that little chunk ball. go. Good job, Luke. And uh, we'll get some of his friends. Can they help you, Daniel? Oh, it's bigger than three pounds. Oh all the way down there. Mm. Oh, you're a fat one, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Nice, buddy. Got it. That's a Damn. big one. Nice, Look dude. at that one. Nice. Good job, Daniel. All right, so Luke, I think we learned a lesson here. Three We're going to sit shed. down. We're film. I'll let Daniel do all the work. Do you want to weigh that one? We got five pounds, 11 ounces. Holy cow. That's insane. Five, 11. That's a surprising thing here. They're so dense. Yeah. Look at the belly on that fish. I mean, it's incredible. How long do you think that fish is? I don't know, 18 inches? That's insane. You guys gonna let the camera guy do this thing? <laughs> <laughs> need somebody to do the work. Hey, whatever it takes to get the big ones on the boat. Finally, I think followed it a long ways. Chasing after you. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Z-Man minnows. That little swim bait, my guppy head. It's caught me a lot of smallmouth. Got you. Not a giant, but we got one to bite. They've been uh, pretty challenging to get the bite today. That little minnows. Pretty tight tail action, little swim bait. Dirty Jigs quarter ounce guppy head. That bait right there is kind of a lot of smallmouth on there. But especially when the water gets colder, that really tight tail action is, uh, is really just killer on the smallmouth. Let this one go. Hopefully, get us another one. Got one on the Ned rig. The Ned? Yeah. Switched it up on me. You didn't tell me it was on the Ned. 
These are some of the smartest fish we've dealt with in a long time, or I have. We have thrown in a million fish today. I'm down to a game changer Ned rig, which that game changer color is really good for smallmouth. Kind of a light green with some flake in it. Look how fat he is. Yeah, he's pretty too, though, bars on him. He's just not very long. Got him. Fell for the old game changer. I think we're gonna probably call it good here tonight. You know, it's almost dark, fish a little bit this evening. We found some areas of some fish. We're just really struggling to get them to bite. Uh, you know, the three and a half inch center jerk shadow, a quarter ounce guppy head has probably been the best thing. You can see how healthy these fish are. You get a 20 incher, it's a giant. Picked up a little game changer TRD and uh, was able to outsmart one there. Not the biggest fish in the lake, but it's still fun. And, and uh, hopefully we're just putting the pieces together and tomorrow we get some seven, eight, nine pounders. Who knows? Hey guys, you can check out all this gear on TackleWarehouse.com. We have all the baits we're going to be using this week on there. There'll be a gear giveaway. Make sure to like and uh, share on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media channels and check us out for the next vlog.